Good evening, everybody. We are live at the beautiful GCU Soccer Stadium, anxiously waiting for the first of two GCU Soccer games to get underway. Leading us off, GCU's women's team with a record of 3-3 three and three, coming into this game on fire with a three-game winning streak. It should be an exciting one as they take on the UC Santa Barbara Gauchos. I'm JP Saar alongside Adriana Esparza, and we're gearing up for a good one. I don't know about you, JP, but I'm really excited for this one. We're going to go see uh, if Blakely Frash could uh, pull another uh, shutout. Um, she was WAC Defensive Player of the Week last week, so we'll see if she can come through again. That should be an exciting one. Lopes bouncing off two road wins after that overtime thriller here in GCU Soccer Stadium. They beat Nevada, and oh, yeah. they just had a great performance up there at the NAU tournament. Mackenzie Cook scored one goal and assisted on one goal up there, and Mila Benedetti netted two of her own. It was a great performance for the Lopes, and they're excited to be home against the UC Santa Barbara Gauchos. We are getting set to go here. Blakely Frosh is going to be in goal. She has on fire recently. Whack defensive player of the week this past week with two shutouts and one one goal game. She has had an outstanding year all season. Started all six games, only four goals allowed all year long and 17 saves. Six of those saves came against Nevada. That was just a solid performance the Lopes put together. Hannah Nichols is wearing the captain's sleeve. She will be back on the defensive line alongside Madison Cox, also wearing the captain's sleeve. They are just going to keep that solid, and hopefully they can slow down the Gaucho's powerhouse of Amanda Ball. She's got four goals on the season so far, and she's definitely going to be a threat that the Lopes need to look out for. Yeah, since we also have nine seniors on the team, I think it's a good opportunity for us to have that you know, good, strong leadership. Mm -hmm. Leadership is definitely important in a non-conference game such as this one. And then with eight returners, you know, we got that experience. So let's see how it goes. Kickoff starts now. UCSB handling the ball. Plays it all the way back to their goalkeeper. Brittany Rogers in net for the Gaucho. She's only started two games this season. Been split in the load with Maddie Julian. Lopez now takes possession, gets it up to Mila Benedetti. Mila Benedetti with some nice moves here early on. Misses the pass to Mackenzie Cook, but it finds its way to Kelsey Smith. Smith played up by Emma Kane. Lopes with some solid pressure here early on. Emma Kane chased after the ball, kicked out by the Gauchos. Lopes will have an early chance. Lopes maintain possession. Smith coming in for the throw. And McCain hesitated a little, didn't know what to do with the ball. And the Gaucho defender launches it up into the crowd. Another throw in for the Lopes, similar territory. This one kicked out of bounds. Amanda Lopez unable to handle that one. Amanda Ball now, the Gaucho superstar. Lopes steal possession, Hannah Nichols able to find Mackenzie Cook. Cook un unable to split the Gaucho defense. Long ball now for UC Santa Barbara. Finds the winger on the side, she gets a cross in. Santa Barbara wanted a foul there. Kelsey Smith takes possession, moving it up the field. Smith looking for Lopez. Lopes just a little sloppy on their passes, not connecting. 
Not finding a rhythm yet. Gaucho defense moving the ball up the field. Commanding the troops up. Ball played up the line. Blakely Frost comes out to scoop this one up. Cox playing a long ball up, looking for Benedetti, unable to find her. Gaucho steal it. Mandiball finds Maurer in the middle of the field. Maurer finds Ramatka. Hard defense by the Lopes, but Ramatka stays on her feet. Nice cutback now. She fires a shot but blocked wide by Hannah Edwards. I must say their defense is looking kind of, looking really good. Yeah, Lopes playing solid defense so far. Able to keep the Gauchos out of the box, but a corner now. Corner fired in, kicked out of bounds. Not a very good attempt there by the Gauchos, but whack defensive player of the week, Blakely Frosch. Gonna kick this one back into play. Finding the captain of the defense and the captain of this Lopes squad, Madison Cox. Hannah Nichols now in the midfield. Applying some pressure. Long ball played in by the back line of the Gauchos. Lopes in there, new gray jerseys. I think it's the first time we've seen them at home this year wearing these. They look pretty sharp. Yeah, a nice little switch out. Yeah, I think I like these more than the purple ones. Easier to see the numbers too. Definitely. Santa Barbara plays it back to Rogers. UCSB moving the ball up now. Mackenzie Cook, the great pressure there. It's what the Lopes have been doing. They've been letting them play around with it in their defensive zone, but once they hit that center line and hit the midfield, they've been flooding it with defenders and pressure. Long ball played up by Dertoroshian. Gautry. Gauchos tried to make a stab in there, but cleared well out of bounds by Madison Cox. Keeping that one far away from her goalie. More pressure from the Lopes now. Ball coming into Amanda Ball. Amanda Ball looking for attempt. She fires one wide. Early on so far, Gaucho has been able to Connect a few passes, the Lopes have not been able to, and that's been the difference. Gauchos have had a couple shots. Lopes still with zero. Blakely Frosch fires it right into a Ramatko. Up for Benedetti. She was looking for Emma Kane, but Emma Kane did not complete her run. Kate Shoemaker with the throw in. She was looking for Lindsey Voss there. Mackenzie Cook's gonna toss the ball to the side and let Kelsey Smith come and take this throw in. I'm liking how controlled and poised our players are looking right now. Yeah, the Lopes seem to be real strong with the ball, not making any mistakes. Madison Cox tried to head that one away. Ball played up for Emma Kane, just slips wide and the Gauchos will retake possession.
Lopes trying to put an attack together in the midfield. Just losing possession a few times. Dertoroshan plays a ball up for Ramatko. Unable to get through to her. Ramatko using her speed. Going to send a cross in. Ooh. Great shot there by the Gauchos, but an even better save by Blakely Frosch. Back at it again. She kind of did a hip thrust there. Didn't get full contact on the ball. You can see it here. Great cross by Ramatko. Hipped in, but Blakely Frosch knew where it was the whole time. Looking solid early on here. Three shots for the Gauchos. One on goal, and Blakely Frosch has looked solid. Lopes just looking a little out of sync. Not connecting their long balls and through balls. They can't string together a few passes, but that is exactly how they looked their last home game here against Weber State. Lopes with early pressure. Emma Kane able to steal the ball. Got it up to Mila Benedetti. Benedetti loses possession and a foul on Emma Kane. Lopes in very threatening territory there. Good sequence of events there. Emma Kane applied some great pressure. Was able to knock it up for Mila Benedetti. And ben Benedetti tried to make a little cutback and she was fouled in the middle of the field. Lopes will have a very threatening free kick now. Referee comes out, sprays the aerosol down, marking off the 10 yards. Little play by the Lopes. Benedetti going to take the shot. She shoots it right into the wall of defenders. Kelsey Smith, long shot saved, no problem for Rodgers. But the Lopes are on the board with a shot and shot on goal. First sign of offense we've seen from the Lopes there. Now the Gauchos trying to get the counterattack going. That was a nice little save right there. And she does not save it just out of bounds. She did initially save it. Lost possession there. That was great play there by defender Marissa Zavaldi. But Lopes put the ball back in play real quick. And McCain looking for Mila Benedetti. Those two playing up top on the formation. You're going to hear their, their names quite a bit early until Coach Leader decides to put some subs in. Gaucho's coming in off a loss from Iowa, but they did have a big win against Minnesota. Amanda Ball scored the game-winning goal. Foul against Hannah Nichols in the middle of the field. Santa Barbara puts it back into play. You can see that foul again. Nichols just came up from behind. Got a little aggressive. Easy call for the referee here early on. Mauer moving in. Cleared out by Mackenzie Cook. Great defense by the Lopes. I'm sure Maurer wants that pass back. Maurer looking for Amanda Ball. Amanda Ball up against the tough defense of Madison Cox. Lopes playing solid defense. They're able to clear it out. But the Gauchos are attacking. Michaela McGee on the far side. Tried to get it up to Benedetti. Ooh, Madison Cox. Crucial turnover from Otko. She takes a shot and a diving save by Blakely Frosch. What a save. She is looking sharp here early on. And they are going to need her if they want to win this game. Their defense is going to have to tighten up. You can see this replay here. Ramatko with a nice shot. Blakely Frost soared in for the save. Such a good sign. I love how she's starting off the game so strong. Yeah, if their defense doesn't pick her up, pick up. They are going to need her to make more saves like that. Kelsey Smith jumps in front for the steal. Lopez and Hannah Nichols 
trying to put a little something together there. They lose possession. Blakely Frosch over to Edwards. Lopes trying to get something going, and they turn the ball over again. Lopez plays it up to Cook. Cook with a long ball up to Mila Benedetti. And Amaya Zabalza able to get that one out of there. Throw in for the Lopes on the far side of the field. Benedetti up the line. She gets a high cross in there, but referee says that one was out of bounds. That was a close one. Yeah. Some fans sitting behind the goal. Referee says no to that. Moves them aside. And now we can get play back underway. Get the best gear to show off your Lope pride. Go to lopeshops.gcu.edu to find everything GCU. From the newest apparel to the coolest accessories. Use promo code GCUTV20 to get 20% off for being a GCU TV viewer. Let's paint the valley purple. Lopes up. No goal for the Lopes. Tough call there by the referee. The side official had the flag up. It is offsides on Emma Kane. Tough call there against the Lopes. Mila Benedetti came in pleading her case, saying Emma Kane didn't touch it, and I think she might have had a cause. But nonetheless, no goal for the Lopes. You can see it coming in there. Emma Kane might have got a tap on it just past the keeper. But an offsides call rules that one. No goal. Gaucho's now trying to recover. Chase Shornstein plays it back to Zavaldi. Lopes applying a lot of pressure now. 15th minute here. Score still 0-0. Zero to zero. Gauchos with four shots. Ramat Co was pressuring on that one. Blakely Frosch able to clear it out of harm's way. The Gauchos moving back in. Ramat Co up the field. She gets a cross in, blocked out by the Lopes. They will have a corner kick. Lindsey Voss moving in for this corner. Cleared out by Mila Benedetti. Lopez trying to take possession. She doesn't keep it. And Mila Benedetti clears this one up the field almost to the center line. And a throw in for the Gauchos, and they will switch the field up. Definitely a lot of back and forth in this game. Teams trading possessions, trading shots, and no one able to find the net yet. It's a foldy long ball up. Ramatko looking for this one. Fights her way past the defender. Mary Joy Carriers applying pressure. Ramatko gets by her. Madison Cox always seems to know where the ball is going. She clears it out of bounds. Wow, she just comes out of nowhere sometimes. She knows exactly where to be. Solid defender. Madison Cox picked to be on the preseason all-whack team. Two lopes now. Kick it out of bounds. Be a throw in right at the corner of the field. Madison Cox heads it out. Lopes trying to move it up the field. Kelsey Smith chasing after that one, unable to keep it inbounds. 
Rowan coming in for the Gauchos. Good move to keep possession there by Romatko. Ball played up to Voss. Back to Romatko. Moving in towards the center of the field. Ball was looking for Maurer. Unable to find her. Romatko finds Voss. Over to Maurer. Cross came in. Voss flicks it up and right to Blakely Frosch. These Gaucho defenders are getting real dangerous. Yeah, very aggressive, I could tell. They piece together a few passes. They might get a A-plus quality chance on goal. Just 18 minutes into this game, and UC Santa Barbara already has six shots on goal. Played up to Amanda Ball. Ball beats Kelsey Smith down the line. And a hard foul against Kelsey Smith. Ooh, that did not look pretty. Amanda Ball on the ground looks a little shaken up. Teammate coming over to console her. She seems to be walking off to the sideline. I have a chat with the trainer just to make sure everything's all right. But it looks like a penalty kick coming up. Kelsey Smith charged with that hard foul. Ramatko going to take this penalty kick. UC Santa Barbara's got two penalty kicks on the year. Amanda Ball has taken both those. Ramatko moving in. Blakely Frost saves another penalty kick. What a great play by her. She's on fire today. Almost unstoppable. Wow, that is insane. I was talking to UC Santa Barbara's coach. And he was I was asking him what's the key to beating a great goalie like Blakely Frost. And she said he said they just need to get up close and personal. And that's about as close and personal as you can hope to get, and Blakely Frost still stuffs them. Yeah, she is faster than fast. Seven shots so far, four on goal, so four saves for Blakely Frost. That one just as big as all the rest. This throw in sails over the head of Amanda Ball. Ramotko coming all the way on the other side of the field to apply pressure. She probably wants that penalty kick back. Mary Joy Carriers. Plays it back to Edwards. Carriers up to Benedetti. But just missing their passes. The Lopes can't seem to connect those long passes and build a rhythm here. We've seen UCSB get plenty of chances. And they play a ball up. Blakely Frost dives in. Attempts to save it. And a ball. Tried to kick it over Blakely Frost's head. But a foul called against the Gauchos. Lopes get away with another one there. Blakely Frosch telling him to move on up, sending him up. Kenzie Cook played it to Emma Kane. Back to Kelsey Smith looking for Mila Benedetti, but unable to connect. Many passes have been intercepted. Amanda Ball now moving in, using her speed. She shoots and she scores. Amanda Ball gets one by Blakely Frosch. And the UCSB Gauchos are on the board first here in the 21st minute. One to nothing. They look like they practice that one a lot. Yeah, beautiful ball, Amanda Ball. Just sped up past Kelsey Smith. Easily able to curl this one in past Blakely Frosch. The Lopes have a task on their hand. There's a tough save there for Blakely Frosch to make. It's a good sign for the Gauchos, though. Amanda Ball seems to be okay. She seems to be more than okay. Mila Benedetti trying to make something happen. She lost possession. 
Gauchos play it back to Rogers. Experience a series of short plays and the humorous and heartwarming The Good Doctor. Catch the show this weekend, the 8th through the 10th in Ethington Theater. Gaucho's putting together another tack. Now we're moving up the line. She sends a cross in. Looking again for a man to ball. Blakely Frost saves this one. Makes contact with her own player. But gets it to Mackenzie Cook. Kenzie Cook sails it out of bounds. Shoemaker putting this one back into play. She's looking at Shorenstein. Settles for Gibson. You can tell the Gauchos are looking a little more calm now. Yeah, they got one goal under their belt. Looking for some insurance goals now. Kenzie Cook deflects that pass, gets it to Benedetti. Ball up to Ramatko. Ramatko offsides. It's going to be a dangerous attack there for the Gauchos. Great ball played by Amanda Ball. Madison Cox looking for a recipient. Lopez gets it. Cook plays it up to Emma Kane. Gauchos take possession. Find Amanda Ball. She hits it into Maurer. Maurer across to Ramatko. Ramako applying some good pressure on Carriers. Carriers with a solid defensive play. Deflects it out of bounds, but another corner for the Gauchos. Looking threatening once again. The pressure is on. Lopes are definitely going to need to step it up. They are definitely feeling that pressure. Ramatko going to take this corner. Surprising to me, she's one of the taller attackers for the Gauchos. Sends this one in. Lopes clear it out. A lot of head action going on. Yep, <laughs> Emma Kane chasing after this one. Plays it back to Dertoroshian. She's the only defender that stayed back on that corner. So solid for the Gauchos there on the back line. Shoemaker finds Maurer. Maurer with the left. Hits the crossbar. Just misses. Just over the fingertips of Blakely Frosch. Maurer with a great shot. Water break now. This Arizona Heat getting to the players. Approaching the 25th minute. We will have a short break here for action lady's going to get some water so cool down a little bit and hopefully for the lopes they can put together a new strategy Derek leaders definitely going to talk to them we'll get a replay on that last shot here mauer with the left fires it over the head oh man that would have been a nice goal if she was able to slot that one in there but Derek leader definitely going to Blakely was ready though. Yeah, so Blakely close. Was ready. Definitely a great opportunity for the Gauchos. Just 25 minutes into this game, they have 10 shots, five of those on target. Yeah, you can tell they definitely practiced and put in work before this game. Oh yeah, they had a great trip up to Minnesota. Now they're down here in Arizona. I was talking to coach and he was very excited for the upcoming few weeks. Six of their next seven games following this one are at home. They're looking forward to that one. 
but for the Lopes so far, not a great defensive effort put up and not a great midfielder effort. So far the story of this game is they haven't been able to put together any passes. Let's see what he tells them right now. Maybe they'll come back a little differently. They're gonna need a little hype up speech. Maybe change of formation. Last time they were here at home, they were struggling a little bit like this game. They moved Madison Cox up to attacker. And that's when the magic happens. That's when the magic happened. I don't see them doing that again here. Just because the attack of the Gauchos is so outstanding. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to have our defense uh, kick it in high gear. Yeah, they're going to have to step it up a notch. Kelsey Smith, Madison Cox talking. Mary Joy Carriers. And Edwards discussing what they're going to do. They need to shore up that defensive line. They need to turn the tides on this game. Likely Frosh puts it back into play. Madison Cox tried to play through, blocked out by Amanda Ball. Few subs now checking in for the Lopes. Anissa Devera coming in. Checking in the game for your Lopes. Number 11, Anissa Devera. And number 24, Jessica Wong. Benedetti gets the throw in. Oh, they triple teamed her right there. Yep. They know who the threat of the Lopes is. Ramatko finds Maurer. Looking for ball, sends it a little too far. Blakely Frosh scurries out to get that one. Frosh bringing it back to the center. Gonna play it up the far side to Hannah Nichols. Poked out by the Gaucho defense midfield. Put back in play by the Lopes. Edwards using some speed, moving it up. Anissa Devera using her speed, getting around the defender. Hoping for Ooh. a look to get there. Mila Benedetti in the middle of the box. Looking for Benedetti, unable to find her. Hannah Nichols tried to move in there and get a shot on net, but Rogers came out to settle down play. We are looking more aggressive, I like it. Lopes came out of that timeout with a lot more energy and that's good to see. Tarosian deciding what to do for the Gauchos. Finds Ramatko. Connecting passes. Gets it up to Ball. Ball looking for Voss. Ramatko sends it high. Mauer heads it to Ball. Kicked out of bounds and settled down by the Lopes. Got to be careful again. Jessica Wong checking in for the Lopes. Madison Cox stepping up to play some defense. And she creates a turnover here. You can definitely tell she wants this. Yeah, Madison Cox not happy with the way her defense has been playing on and her team has been playing early here. Lopes trail, one nothing. Dertoroshian moving in. Mauer over to Voss. Down the line to Ramatko. Send it in. And Blakely Frosh takes it down. a nice little high kick. And Nisa Devera with possession. She's a solid player to bring into the game right now. Coach Derek Leader realizes they've been a little sloppy with the ball and turning the ball over and that's one thing Anissa Devera does not do. She is very solid. Low on the turnovers. Number 
Sent up for Michaela McGee. Nichols plays it back. Madison Cox. Cox looking for Benedetti. Kicks it wide to Cook. Cook tried to cross it in for Devera. And the Gaucho defense prevails. Now we're setting up the counterattack. Over to Ramonko. Amanda Ball moving in on this far side. Definitely a player to keep your eye on all game. Now we're using her speed up the line. Looking for Ball in the middle. Ball flying through. Devera foul. Great play there by Anissa Devera. Love the effort she gave it her all. Came in, gave in a lot of effort. Stole the ball and drew a foul. Lopes can now bring up Madison Cox to take this free kick. Madison Cox sends it up. Finds Benedetti. Rogers rolls it back into play. Over to Savoldi. Tertorosian plays it up to Ramatko. And back to Rogers. That's one thing the Gauchos have done so well here early on in this game. They have just been controlling possession, not allowing the Lopes to get some passes and get attacking chances. Shoemaker plays it up. Tempting to get it to Ramatko, but a little too far, and Blakely Frosch is able to get it. Yeah, everything the Gauchos are doing is uh, all by strategy. They are executing it perfectly. Safoldi. Over to Shoemaker. Centered to Shornstein. Opposite side of the field now, Ramatko. Fake cross. Now she gets it in. Amanda Ball with a head just misses the side of the net. Great attack there by the Gauchos. And another solid scoring chance. But sent wide by the head of Amanda Ball. No, that would have been very nice. Number six, Julia Cabot. Number 35, Chalen Mearson. That was a great play by the Gauchos and it's a recipe that's been working for them. They've sent it up the far side, got it to Ramatko, sometimes Maurer. They've used their speed and got a solid cross in. Yeah, they play smart. They know when to pass it and who to pass it to. And Amanda Ball on the right side. Lopes defense able to settle that attack chance out, but a corner is coming their way. Substitution Kate Post coming for the corner. Post high and in, and a head over the net by the Gauchos. Your best round of golf awaits at the Grand Canyon University Golf Course. Es experience beautiful greens, state-of-the-art amenities, and the redesigned restaurant and clubhouse. Book your tee times today at gcugolf.com. Didn't you uh, go golf there too, JP? Oh, yeah. Beautiful golf course out there at Grand Canyon University. Yeah, I'm not Played much of... Played out there several times, and I love it. Not much of a golfer, but you, I can be. <laughs> you gotta be. Got to get out there and play. Heard the food Grand is pretty Canyon good, University too. And yeah, the clubhouse food is great. 
Tavera with a nice move. She centers it over to Han Edwards. McGee back to Edwards. That was a nice, some nice footwork. Looking for Devera. And Shornstein slid in there and able to sneak that one away from Benedetti. Shornstein lays it up to Ball. Ball's got such great footwork, but she loses it there. Ashley Hilfer checked in for Mary Joy Carriers. She steps in on that Lopes back line. Hornstein moved in by the Gaucho attack. Back to the midfield. Post moving it across now. Up to Merson. Merson beats Cook. Lopes defense able to get that one away from the Gaucho attackers. Played up to Devera. And lost possession again. Lindsey Voss played it back to Shornstein. Far side of the field now. Julia Kappas. Cook was in that skirmish trying to steal the ball from the Gauchos. Made its way up to Devera. She fought for that one. Lopes are going to need a lot more effort like Anissa Devera is bringing today. They want to come back in this game. one nothing here. 36th minute. Two more subs coming in for the Lopes. Rachel Mina. Checking in, for your Lopes. Checking in on the top. Rachel Mina. Jennifer Pippen coming in for Mackenzie Cook. I was looking at Mina during uh, warm-ups, and I can <laughs> think she's going to do some good stuff for us tonight, too. Lopes needed it. Trailing by one. Gauchos play it back to Rogers. Rogers sends it on to the sunny side of the field. Post brings it back here. Gauchos seem content to just control possession and slowly work their way up the field. That's been the recipe for success. They move it up the field. They get a solid attacking chance. Dertorosian looking for a long ball to Murison. Cannot find her. Frost tried to get it to Pippen. Pippen loses it. Murison back with it now. Kelsey Smith applying pressure. Great defense there by Kelsey Smith. Murison just such a solid physical midfielder. She's able to keep possession for the Gauchos. Gauchos moving it just in front of that inside GCU circle. Shornstein, long ball, just slides out of bounds. Santa Barbara attackers cannot get to it in time. Blakely Frosch wanted it to get back in play real quick. But Amanda Ball applied pressure. She's definitely the leader of this Gaucho team, Amanda Ball is. Frosch finds Cox, up to Smith, moving it up, Smith up to Pippen, 
Pippen was looking for Jessica Wong. Missed her target, but Kelsey Smith gets it back. Rachel Mina tried to make an aggressive move. Madison Cox pushes down Mandoval, but no foul. Played up to Pippen now. She whiffs on a pass. Lopes lose possession and cleared well back. Madison Cox moving towards the near side of the field. Gets it up to Mina. Mina quickly loses possession. Lopes have not been able to maintain an attack, string together some passes and keep momentum high. Shorenstein plays it up to Shoemaker. Shoemaker loses it out of bounds. She takes a hard fall into the Lopes bench. Smith into Wong. Wong up for Mina. Mina sends it out. Can't imagine being out there right now. It's uh, 106. That heat is definitely getting to them. Amanda Ball checked out. Haley Barrett coming in now for the Gauchos. This is the Lopes time to strike. Several of the Gaucho starters are out for a little bit of rest. There's a Misa being a triple teamed again. She was able to keep possession. Gauchos poked it out of bounds. Smith finds Devera. Back to Smith. Redirected to Juan. Lopes will lose possession again. Gauchos played it out of bounds. Lopes put it back into play quickly. Looking for Mina, but Rogers is going to come over and scoop that one up. 41st minute here, just four minutes remaining in this first half. World Vision presents Big Daddy Weave featuring We Are Messengers and Micah Tyler at the Grand Canyon University Arena on Thursday, September 14th at 7 p.m. Experience a night of worship with top Christian artists here at GCU. Meet and greet tickets are also available now. Go to gcuarena.com. Let me tell you, those sell out fast too, so I would log on right now. You're going to want to hop on that, book your tickets. Gauchos playing the ball up, looking for Shoemaker, headed out by Kelsey Smith. Kelsey Smith has seen a lot of action on this near side here in this first half. Ball played up to Barrett. Madison Cox sends it nine rows up into the stands. Maybe hot on the field, but it is beautiful in these GCU bleachers. The stadium overhang, providing some nice shade. Thunder looks like he's enjoying himself too. Another crossbar by the Gauchos. And another shot sent high and over. Amaya Zabalza with that follow-up shot. But another great chance that soared over the head of Blakely Frosch. Blakely Frosch, such a solid defender, but that's one thing she does not have going for her. She's only 5'6", so some of those shots can soar just over her head. But she's gotten lucky here early on in this first I half. Two of those hitting the crossbar. Sure Lopes trying to put together a last-minute attack. 
Kelsey Smith shielding off the attacker. She sends it off the foot of Barrett. Devera once again beating a double team. Playing a ball up to Mina. Mina's looking to get there, but Rogers is going to beat her to it. Rogers was at first wanting the offsides call. Then she realized, I'll just do this myself. She goes out and stops that attack for the Lopes. One of the more threatening chances they have had this half. Post gets it up to Murison. Minute and a half remaining here in this first half. Murison fires a shot, but blocked by Madison Cox. Devera now, Lopes have numbers. They can't connect the pass. They were looking for McGee. There is one minute remaining in the first half. One minute. One minute here. Gaucho's gonna put a last movement up the field. But first start it back with their goalkeeper, Rogers. Let's see if we can try to get it back. Up to Barrett. Smith steps in. Barrett maintains possession. This one's sent out by the Gaucho defender. Kelsey Smith's arms are getting a workout today. Another throw in by Smith. Jessica Wong steals possession, taps it to Devera. Up to Mina. Mina loses possession of the Gauchos in just two seconds now. We will go to half here. Lopes trailing one to zero. This game so far has been all Gauchos. We'll be right back after this short timeout for the halftime show. Hi, I'm Bethany, I'm a junior here at GCU. Students are making a huge impact on the Valley just through painting the Valley purple. It really means a lot to people in Phoenix to hear that somebody's from GCU. It almost gives you like credentials because they know that you're a good kid and that you're gonna go far. I definitely think GCU is preparing me for my future in teaching students and being a difference maker in the lives of other people. Find your purpose at Grand Canyon University. Private, Christian, affordable. Visit gcu.edu. GCU's College of Theology serves the church by preparing students for a career in ministry and to share the gospel as a Christian leader. We reach a broad array of like-minded churches and Christian organizations to embrace various denominations and celebrate the unity we all have in Jesus Christ. At GCU, aspiring ministers and Christian leaders receive deeply focused theological training that is grounded in biblical truth. Students may choose from a variety of theological, transformative degree programs with real-world relevance, including Christian Studies and the Master of Divinity. Our recently launched Center for Worship Arts develops new talent in worship leadership, performance, and production. Whether learning on campus or online, our bachelor's and master's students graduate from the College of Theology, fully equipped to minister and live the message they teach and preach. The mission of our college is to educate students to effectively communicate the gospel, faithfully serve the church, and minister with integrity at home and abroad. Find your purpose in ministry and Christian leadership at gcu.edu slash cot. Find your purpose at Grand Canyon University. Private, Christian, affordable. Visit gcu.edu. Welcome back here to GCU Soccer Stadium. Lopes trailing one to nothing to the UC Santa Barbara Gauchos. It's been all Gauchos so far. 14 shots on goal. Or 14 shots, five of those on target. 
Two posts hit by the Gauchos. One penalty kick saved by Blakely Frosch. And a goal netted in by Amanda Ball. Been a tough first half for the Lopes so far. They haven't really been able to connect some passes. Yeah, things a little, look a little choppy on their end. They don't uh, seem as smooth and controlled as the Gauchos are. Um, the Gauchos, you know, as long as they maintain possession, the Lopes can't score. Yeah, Lopes hopefully going to come back in this second half with a lot more energy. But first, let's toss it to Dewey, Defer Dewey Jeffries with that Lopes halftime report. Thanks, guys. Dewey Jeffries here with your Lopes halftime report. It's only been two weeks since school started, and the GCU Athletics is already standing out among its competitors. Among those sports doing well, women's volleyball has started off strong with their overall 4-2 record coming out on top over Syracuse, Siena, and Niagara in the Syracuse Tournament in New York and beating Eastern Kentucky in the Wildcat Classic in Tucson this past Labor Day weekend. The success women's volleyball is seeing so early on is anticipated to grow and continue throughout the season. Head coach Tim Nolan also had something to say about the roots of the team's success. Let's take a look. The takeaways from last season, it, it's all about uh, implementing team culture and understanding systems and, and where we were successful and where we weren't. The injury bug really hit us hard last year. It's hard to overcome some of those things, but the biggest takeaway I have is, is the fighting spirit we had. And no one threw in the towel. We still competed and battled and, and put forth our best effort every night. That's something those kids can be proud of and, and really hang their hat on. No, I think our staff is one of the best in the country. We bring forth coaching experience from the Big Ten to the Pac-12 to the WCC. We have experience with USA Volleyball. Put that whole conglomerate together, it gives us a good base to connect with players and teach players and, and really bring forth the best out of each student athlete. We return six out of seven starters. We return our top three point scorers from last year. We have six seniors, and we look for a lot of senior leadership, really helping bring the younger players along, showing them what our culture is as a team. So I think those returners are gonna have a huge, huge role. A player I think the crowd is gonna love is Tegan DeFalco. She is an undersized pin hitter from Southern California, has volleyball in her blood. She's a fiery competitor, and she's gonna add uh, a little bit of that competitive swagger to our team. The fan experience for us in the arena is going to be exciting. It's going to be interactive. So we want it to be fun for the whole family. We want it to be loud and crazy. We're really excited about the environment that we think we can provide here. And we can't wait to get in there against Fordham. Our goal is to finish in the upper half of the conference to get in that conference tournament and to really make some noise and see if we can sneak into the finals of it. We're going to be a team that gets better all year. We want to be a top 25 team. And yeah, it's gonna take some time to get there, but no one wants it to get there any faster than I do. With the goal of finishing in the upper half of the conference to get into the conference tournament and earn their way into the finals, Coach Nolan hopes to lead the Lopes in the top 25 for women's volleyball. Coach said it best himself, we're gonna be a team that gets better all year, and the Lopes family can't wait to see it happen. Let's show some support for our Lopes women's volleyball team as they host the GCU tournament this weekend. Don't forget, come out to the games this weekend or tune into GCU TV to cheer on the Lopes and help pave their way for success this season. That's your Lopes Halftime Report. I'm Dewey Jeffries. We'll see you next time. Back to you guys. Welcome back here, GCU Soccer Stadium. Thank you, Dewey, for that halftime update. Women's volleyball, so we're going to have to make it out to those games this weekend. Oh, definitely. Now that it's in the arena, all the energy and excitement that's going to bring with it, oh, I cannot wait. I'm also excited to see Claire Kavensky and Tegan DeFalco. You know, this past weekend they had 36 um, digs combined. Wow. Yeah. Pretty so. impressive. Lopes taking on Fordham Friday night. That should be a really competitive game, and they're taking, off, taking on Gonzaga Saturday morning and one more game against Idaho Saturday night. So... Should be a real exciting. You're going to want to make your way out to GCU Arena to check out those. You can also see The Good Doctor this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Get your tickets at the Ethington Theater box office or email ethington at gcu.edu. Um, it's another big weekend for the theater as they close their performance of The Good Doctor. GCU TV's own Ashley Romantic was there to catch up with all the cast. Romantic. 
Atlantic with GCU TV and today I am here at Ethington Theatre to talk with some of the cast and crew of GCU's latest theatrical production, The Good Doctor. What is The Good Doctor about? The Good Doctor is about this writer who is having writer's block and he can't think of a single idea until so the audience comes in and bam, he has an idea for his short story. And all the different characters that we play are the different ideas that he has that are springing to his head. So each little vignette is a totally different time and totally different place and totally different characters uh, all strung together by his internal thoughts. Uh, it it is better described as a show of shows. Neil Simon based it out of Anton Chekhov's mind. It's essentially short stories that are compiled into one play, little insights into the mind of Anton Chekhov. Mm, very interesting. So yes. what role do you play? I'm uh, the narrator slash the writer. So my first role is the lady of the house, basically. Uh, and my second role is I'm actually playing a lady of the night. The Good Doctor is still playing September 8th through the 10th. Make sure to grab a ticket because it's a show you don't want to miss. Box office last weekend, so you're going to want to make sure you go get your tickets. Um, again, you can go to the Ethington Theater box office or email ethington at gcu.edu. Should be an exciting show when I hear Ethington Theater almost always sells out and I think this is one of the last weekends to check out the good doctor so you're gonna want to make your way out there yeah it's a good one I like the uh, the whole theme behind it it's not like one long play it's like you know kind of made up of different bunch of mini plays, plays. yeah inside yeah one. it seems seems fun and it seems pretty entertaining well Lopes trail one nothing here GCU soccer stadium Derek leader preaching to him at half hoping to Change the tides. We will be right back here after this short timeout. I am Laura Rosoya, and I am majoring in biology with an emphasis in pre-med at Grand Canyon University. The dorm life at GCU definitely helped me build relationships, and I've made great friends on this campus. The quality education here is great. You're testing your limits, but you're going beyond them. It all comes together, the sciences, the ethics, and just everything. It's a beautiful thing. Grand Canyon University, the quality of a private Christian education, the affordability of a state university. Visit gcu.edu. In today's competitive market, the demand for specialized knowledge is ever growing. Take the next step in your career by earning your doctoral degree from the College of Doctoral Studies at Grand Canyon University. We offer advanced doctorate degrees from a Doctor of Business Administration to a Doctor of Education and online PhD programs. Learners apply their research, critical thinking, and analytical skills to solve real world problems in areas such as business, leadership, and psychology. Our dissertation process is embedded into conventional coursework to help you move quickly toward graduation with a supportive learning community to keep you engaged. Work closely with faculty to pursue your unique goals and enjoy a variety of convenient learning formats. Attend class on campus in the evening or pursue doctorate degrees online and benefit from a curriculum designed for working professionals by experts in their fields. 
join our community of scholars as we strive to live differently in the world and make a significant impact in organizations, communities, and society, or churches, educational institutions, and corporations. Find out more at gcu.edu slash doctoral. I'm Dominique. I'm a student here at Grand Canyon University studying hospitality management. My hospitality courses here are giving me a high quality education from professors that I know have been successful. Being able to work while I'm in school has enriched my college experience. I feel like I know where I'm going and what I want to do. When they say find your purpose, they mean it. Find your purpose at Grand Canyon University. Private, Christian, affordable. Visit gcu.edu. GCU is the university that never sleeps, moving at the speed of light, so we can give our students the competitive edge they need to succeed. And now, GCU is leading in the areas of computer science and IT. We prepare students to meet the demands of the fastest growing industry through our innovative IT programs in our College of Science, Engineering, and Technology. Using the latest real-world tools and an adaptive curriculum, GCU gives students the education they need today to excel in their careers tomorrow. Join the most inventive concept in education right now and position yourself for a future in the expanding world of IT. GCU offers fast-track options with courses in cybersecurity, cloud computing, systems architecture, and business analytics. Find your purpose at Grand Canyon University. Private, Christian, affordable. Visit gcu.edu slash IT. Welcome back here, GCU Soccer Stadium. Lopes down one to nothing. Do you have any uh, predictions for the second half? Lopes are definitely gonna need to come out with some more energy and of the Lopes three wins. They've only allowed a, a goal in one of those. And it was against Weber State last time they were here in GCU Soccer Stadium. They allowed an early goal to the Wildcats. And they ended up coming back, as we know. Madison Cox scored two late win late uh, or one late goal and then another goal in overtime to win that game. And the Lopes statistically always have more goals in the second half. They had that last year. They have that stat working for them again this year. They have three in the second half, one in overtime. They also average more shots in the second half, which definitely bodes well for their confidence. Yeah, we definitely got this. That was our uh, that was our warm up, and now we're ready. Yeah, Lopes gonna need to come out firing. They're also need to gonna need to lock down that defensive line. Amanda Ball has had her way. Ramot Ramotka. They've been able to work the ball inside and outside, crossing it in, bringing it up the middle. They've done whatever they wanted to, stringing together passes and. They've had great chances. They have 14 shots so far, four corners. Yeah, we definitely need to regain more possession and just keep it more. Lopes are going to need to limit the attacking chances by the Gauchos. As long as they keep playing aggressive and stay on them, I think we'll be good. Couple changes coming in for the Gauchos. Kate Post going to start this second half as well as Sydney Magnin. She will start the second half for the Gauchos. But the three stars on that front line, Amanda Ball, Mauer, and Ramatko, they will be attacking and keeping the pressure on the Lopes. Oh yeah, they're there to stay, they're hungry. I think too, if we had a little bit more uh, fans out tonight, I think everyone's getting ready for that men's game tonight. Yeah, men's game following this one at 7 p.m. Be sure to tune in to GCU TV for that one. Not going to want to miss that one. Against Evansville. First home game for our men's soccer club. And everyone's getting real excited for that one. A couple of the men's out actually here in the stands watching. And it'll be a, a lot cooler team. too. It will be a lot cooler. 7 p.m. Sun should almost be down. Devera and Benedetti going to get us going. Lopes! 
One thing I think the Lopes definitely need to keep doing is using Mackenzie Cook's speed. She's so fast, and that's what worked for them against a Weber State and on their weekend trip up to NAU. Hey, she hasn't seen the ball much. That's also partially due to the great Gaucho defense. Foul against the Gauchos. Thought ref might play advantage there, but free kick against Hannah Nichols. Definitely got to rely on Cox's speed, too, and her intuition. Cox sends one high. Going to find McGee. Just outran by Zabalza. McGee almost got to that one. But it is sent back for a goal kick. Rodgers will take this one. Scanning the field. See where she's going to send it. Rogers looking for Zabalza. McGee gets it from Nichols. Cook sends it back to Cox. Lopes trying to just keep possession, and Cox loses it. Ball plays it up to Maurer. Looking back for ball. Cox momentarily clears it. Ramatko gets it. Beats Edwards up the line. Looking for Maurer. Maurer had a wide open goal and she whiffs on the shot. She puts her hands on her head. She definitely wants that one back. Missed opportunity there for the Gauchos. Lopes dodge a bullet. Yeah, that was definitely a close one. You can tell she was super upset about the result. Oh yeah, there was no way Blakely Frosch was getting back to that one. That was that was set up on a tee by Ramatko and Maurer couldn't finish it. Jessica Wong looking for Benedetti. Savoldi on the defense. Benedetti loses it out of bounds. Frustrated with herself. A lot of frustration coming out for the Lopes. Ball. Played it back. Shoemaker centers it. Post. Real speedy. Mauer stays on her feet. Up the line to ball. Ball back to Shoemaker. Gaucho's looking for a solid attack. Cross comes in right to Blakely Frosch. She throws it back in play to Michaela McGee. Mackenzie Cook speeding up the sideline. Plays it up to Benedetti. Benedetti onside. Oh, late flag by the side referee. Offsides on Mila Benedetti. Tough play there by the Lopes. Really had a good chance. She was going for it too. That would have been a great one. Gauchos. Post looking for Ramatko. Ramatko well offsides. She gets a shot over Frosch, misses the goal, but none of it matters. Lopes defense, defensive line knew that was offsides the whole time. They were not worried. Frosch up to McGee. Blocked by Zabalza. This is a nice solid block you can hear from up here. Zabalza up to Ramatko. She's onside this time. Across. Maurer misses another one. Tough play there, but Madison Cox had some solid pressure on that one. Cross sent in. Ramatko looking for the header. Lopes get it out. Shorenstein finds Maurer. Back to Shorenstein. Up to ball. And Jennifer. Hilfer heads that one out, but we got an injury here. Kelsey Smith looks like she may have had head-to-head -head contact with another player. Maybe it was something with her knee, but Kelsey Smith really looks shaken up. Yeah, it definitely looks like it was her head. 
It was a little too hard. Trainer rushing out now, trying to help Kelsey Smith. She's still... Like the videos you're seeing tonight? Watch them again by subscribing to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash GCU. Going to have a momentary injury timeout. Hate to see this for the Lopes. Kelsey Smith has been playing such a solid game here early on. That would be a big loss for the Lopes. I think we might see Mary Joy Carriers check in. One of the other defenders for this women's soccer team. Yeah, she seems okay, but you never want to push it. Yeah, she's walking off on her own power, which is a good sign. But Yeah, especially when it comes gonna, to concussions. She's going to spend some time with the trainer. Get some water in her. Gauchos had a solid attacking chance. Going to see the ball put back into play by the Lopes. Mary Joy Carrier's over there filling in for Kelsey Smith. She should just send this one far out of bounds. It'll be a throw in for the Gauchos. Over the head of ball to Maurer. Shoemaker finds ball. Back to Shoemaker. Center to Shornstein, chipped in. Looking for ball again. Ball finds Magnin. Magnin with a shot. Blakely Frosh dives and makes the save. Another great save by Blakely Frosh. But the Lopes defense once again allows a great scoring opportunity by the Gauchos. She still got it. Frosh back in play to McGee. McGee heads it to the defense. Great save there by Blakely Frosh. Rogers putting it back into play. Couchos looking for a ball, but Madison Cox intercepts it. Cox well out of bounds. Was looking for Mila Benedetti, but another turnover for the Lopes. Story of the Lopes game here so far. They haven't been able to connect passes, connect those long balls, and they really need to figure something out if they want to bring this game to all square. Yeah, lots of turnovers I've seen so far. Hannah Nichols applying pressure. Now Cook. Over to Shoemaker. Long approaching. Mauer to post. Up to Ramatko. Back to post. The Gauchos just seem so solid with the ball around the attacking zone. But Hannah Edwards gets to McGee. Lopes on the counter attack. Up to Devera. Devera moving in. She's got Benedetti behind her. Devera with a solid move. Ooh, Out right to McGee. Just guys. misses McGee. And post sends it up the ball. And now... The Gauchos are looking for the counterattack. A whiff pass. Gets it to Nichols. Finds Devera. Devera with a move. Wanted a foul and she'll get it. Lopes will have a free kick about 40 yards out. Hoping to get an offensive set piece going here. Normally on these set pieces, Mackenzie Cook will take it. 
She normally takes the corners and the set pieces. Five foot ten, Madison Cox moving into the ball. I'm sure that's Mackenzie Cook's target. Looking for and just over her head. And corralled in by Rogers. Tossed in back in play to Shoemaker. Shoemaker looking for Maurer. She found her. Maurer backs it up the ball. Ball looking for post, misses it, but gets possession back. Foul against the Lopes. And a similar set piece coming up for the Gauchos. Seems to be more fouls the second half. Yeah, ref trying to tighten this game up, not let this game one let this one get out of hand. Shoemaker sends it in. Well far, not a problem for the Lopes defense. This one out of bounds for a goal kick. Blakely Frost launches it up the field. Finds McGee off the foot. Hannah Edwards. Lopes trying to control possession, trying to match what the Gauchos were able to do. First half, Zabalza sends it up to Ramatko. Ramatko was looking for Magnin. She sends it out of bounds, but it is tipped. So a corner kick now upcoming for UCSB. Eight post will take this corner. The lefty going to try to swoop this one in here. Coming in and headed out by Mila Benedetti. Great play by her to keep that one out of harm's way. Mackenzie Cook tried to steal it, but post unable to. Shoemaker finds it. Looking for Magnin. Up to ball, and Blakely Frost dives in again. Keeps this one away from the Gaucho attackers. She does not let anything get by her. Blakely Frost putting in such a solid game so far. One goal allowed. It was a one-on-one -on -one with Amanda Ball early in the game. Here she comes diving in again. Ball played back to her once more. She punts it high and far, right on the center circle. Gauchos get it up to Maurer. Ramatko beating her defender. Going to have a chance. Blakely Frost tried to dive in. Edwards was able to knock it out of harm's way for now. Ramatko moving it back in. Cross now over the head of Amanda Ball. And another failed attacking chance by the Gauchos, but another attacking chance for the Gauchos, so... That is always a positive when you are up one to nothing. Good sign here for the Lopes. Kelsey Smith checking back in. Coming in for Mary Joy Carriers. Lopes need that solid defensive presence. Kelsey Smith going to throw it in. Finds Cook. Cook long up to Devera. Devera trying to juke out her defender. And it worked. Up to McGee. Gaucho stabilized possession with Zabalza to Ramatko. But a great steal by Hannah Edwards and a foul against Ramatko. Frustrated she lost possession. Holding on to the arm of Hannah Edwards, but it was a solid defensive play by Edwards there. Cook going to come take this free kick. About 15 yards in front of center field. She 
looks ready. Cook sends it in. Finds Cox just over the head. Rogers keeps it out of her net. But nonetheless, a great chance for the Lopes. Anything 50. that puts us in that scoring position. Yep, Lopes need to get all the scoring chances they can this second half. 59th minute here. Mauer with it. Ramatko in the box. Over to Post. Post moving in. So quick with the footwork. Unable to beat the last two defenders. You built a nice little defensive wall yeah, right Hilfer there. That and, was good. Hilfer and Edwards created a little wall there, and Post couldn't get through it. Shornstein stabs it up to Maurer. Up to Ball. Long strides for Amanda Ball. Plays it into Shornstein. But Blakely Frost cuts it off. Right to her hands. Frost looking for Cook. Magnin plays it up to Maurer. Maurer looking for Ramatko, but Blakely scurries out and keeps that one away from her. A lot of ball possession for Blakely, actually. Yeah, the Lopes have controlled possession this half, but have been unable to get the ball down the field and create some scoring chances for him. A lot better in the first half, though. Man the ball. Up to Ramatko. She's in. Looking for Maurer again. And Madison Cox lets it slide through her legs. Keeps Maurer away from it. It'll go out of bounds for a throw in for the Lopes. Couple subs checking in for each team. Julia Capes coming in now. She's going to take out Ramatko. And Jennifer Pippen coming in for today's captain, Hannah Nichols. Kelsey Smith looking for a big throw in. The target is Cook. Cook double teamed. She keeps it. Cook wanted to put it back into play quick. She was a little too far up the field. About 10 yards too far. Cook with it again. Nice move to get it to Devera. Yeah, that was some nice footwork. Gauchos regain possession. Shornstein back to Zavalza. Hard Michaela fall. McGee came in hard. Almost got possession of Mila Benedetti. But made a little too much contact there. Zabalza took too big of a touch. McGee got it to Benedetti. Benedetti working it up. See if we can push it up the sides. Gets it to Pippen. Back to Mila. Mila up to Cook. Cook using that speed. Cook's in on the net. She shoots and she just misses wide. Just misses oh, the post. A great chance for Mackenzie Cook to tie this game up. And she, by a hair, misses for the equalizer. I really thought we had that one. Came in with her so left, close. beat the goalie, but couldn't beat the post. Sub coming in now for the Lopes. Devera checking out Lopez coming in. Hopefully that play by Cook can give the Lopes a little spark, a little energy there. Crucial turnover by Amaya Zabalza resulted in that great chance by the Lopes. Mackenzie Cook used her speed, got past the last Defender for the Gauchos. She almost tied this game back up. Foul on Hannah Edwards against Kappas. That's just a tough call there. Edwards a much bigger player than Kappas, and she was simply just using her size to her advantage, but referee called that one a foul. Zabalza sends it in. 
She hits ball, but that one's going to roll out for a goal kick. Kelsey Smith keeps it inbounds. Pippen moving up. Looking for Lopez missed. Magnin turns that one back over to Pippen. And back now. Ball played up for Maurer. Cox holding her off. She's unable to do it. Maurer shoots and she just misses high and wide. Another great chance for Maurer, but she's unable to finish that one. Lopes dodge another bullet. Selena Alvarez checking in for the Gauchos. She's coming into midfield for Kate Post. Getting some fresh legs in. Lopes looking to tie this game up. Gauchos looking for an insurance goal. Kappas turns it over to Emma Kane. Emma Kane up to Benedetti. Mila Benedetti's in. She's trying to tie it up. She cuts back. Gets a nice shot on goal right at Rogers, and Rogers saves it. Almost fell out of her hands. Rogers was able to knock that shot out of the air and keep it away from her net. Keep this one nothing goal. Lopes starting to attack a lot more this half, though. Maurer trying to beat Cox again. She crosses it in. That one goes high out of bounds for a corner kick. Lopes have looked much more solid this half. Yeah, I think they got a, a real rush when um, we almost scored that goal right there. Yeah, that gave them a little boost it seemed to. Cross coming in for the Gauchos. Punched away by Blakely. Ball was still loose. A little scary moment there for the Lopes. Ball played up high. Intended for nobody. Blakely Frost was able to get that one. Michaela McGee chasing after it. Handball on Pippen. Tough call there. Wasn't intentional, but still a handball. Right as the Lopes were getting something going, they turn it over. Lopes playing a much more solid second half, but still being well outshot by the Gauchos. But all it takes is one. Alvarez gets it back to the D line of the Gauchos. Shoemaker heads this one out. Kelsey Smith looking for the throw in. And Edwards clears this one out. McCain on the near side of the field. Jessica Wong to Lopez. Good cut back by Lopez. You can definitely tell the improvement that, you know, with all the open shots and who they've been sending it to. Lopez back with it in the middle of the field. Drops it to Wong. Over to Cook. Cook try to move, but great defense by Shoemaker. Keeps it away. Cox and Mauer have been going one on one all day. Cox wins this time. Ball makes its way over to Emma Kane. Nice move by Kane. Looking for Benedetti. Miscommunication there. Wong hoping to keep possession. Misses her target. Both teams getting a little sloppy with passing. A slide in by the Gaucho defender. Emma Kane going to throw this 
Throw this one in, but not before some subs can make their way in. Murison and Kakaska checking in for the Gauchos. And Hannah Nichols going to come back in for the Lopes for Jennifer Pippen. But not before we can get a water break timeout just about halfway through this second half here. Lopes looking a little more threatening, but they still trail 1-0. Still being outshot by a lot. 19 shots for the Gauchos. Eight of those on goal. Four shots for the Lopes. Two of those on goal. But two great chances just now. One for Mila Benedetti and one for Mackenzie Cook. GCU Arena is hosting Movement Day Arizona on September 16th. Movement Day is a gathering of ministry, marketplace, and nonprofit leaders who are passionate about the Phoenix area and the gospel of Jesus. Tickets are available at gcuarena.com. Teams making their way back onto the field, getting a little cool off. Saw the UC Santa Barbara coach just squirting some water over the players. It is a hot one today. Over 100 degree temperatures. Yeah, they're definitely not used to this. Yeah, Santa Barbara, probably 70 degrees and sunny there today. Yeah, the weather is always so beautiful there. Lopes trying to come back in here. Build some energy. I'm sure Derek Leader liked what he saw early in this second half for the Lopes. In the 68th minute here. You just got to try to bring that out again. 22 minutes remaining for the Lopes to tie it up. Last home game, they decided to wait for the 89th minute to tie it up and finished it off in overtime. Let's see if they decide to be dramatic again and come down to the wire. Emma Kane gets us started. Lopez with a great move. Oh, and a hard foul against Lopez. No foul, though. Lopez was taken down pretty hard. Thought we may see a whistle, but we didn't. Kane drops it to Wong. Up to Lopez. Lopez finds Benedetti. Benedetti trying to beat her defender. Sends a cross in, but nobody's on the end of that one. It was a nice one-on-one -on -one right there. Gaucho's goalkeeper, Rogers gets it back into play to Maurer. Maurer turns it over. Excuse me, that's Murison over there. And a foul against Kelsey Smith. Gaucho's going to move the formation up the field. This one passed back. Maintained possession for UC Santa Barbara. Rogers sends it up. Cox cuts off the pass the ball. They find Lopez. Lopez looking for Cook. And cut off by the defender on the Gauchos D-line. Sent up for ball. Ball flicks it down the field. Lopes gain possession. Hannah Edwards takes a step in. Foul against Edwards. Edwards put, puts it back into play, gets it to Kane. Back to Edwards. Possession trading a couple times. This one's sent out of bounds. Anissa Devera checking in now. Mila Benedetti going to get a little bit of a breather. Emma Kane applying the pressure. Devera comes in right off the bat. Gets physical, takes the ball. She cuts inside, makes a move, takes a shot over the head of Rogers, and Anissa Devera immediately comes in and scores for the Lopes. Great shot, Anissa Devera. We got a tie game here in the 71st minute for the Lopes. That was a beautiful. It almost looked like she hesitated, but she went straight for it. You know, We've that been saying it all game long. She's been so confident with the ball. She cut back inside, 
and just floated it right over the head of the goalkeeper. And this game's all tied up. Yeah, she has a competitive fire that she's definitely bringing. Ball puts it back into play, and the first one down the field, Anissa Devera. And now we're tied, just like that. Madison Cox. We saw it right with that first great chance by Mackenzie Cook. The Lopes got a little spring in their step, and if they don't get an extra boost now, I don't know what's going to give them a boost because that was exciting. Great shot there by Devera, about 20, 25 yards out. Beautiful shot just over the goalie. A perfect equalizer for the Lopes. Santa Barbara bringing in Ramat Kobach in and Voss. Two key players to the play that resulted in a goal on the first half. Cox slowly moving it up the field. Now a big kick. Looking for Cook. Almost found Devera again. You can now spot her wherever the ball is. Yep. She's a ball magnet. Cook trying to cut that one off. Edwards heads it high. Ball. Finds Voss. Over to Magnin. Great defensive play there. Hilfer was able to cut that one off. Emma Kane trying to keep possession. And there's Devera. Sword in to keep that one in. Hannah Nichols now. Finds Lopez. Emma Kane sneaking up the side. She gets it in the box. Crosses it in looking for Mackenzie Cook. Oh, and Cook got a piece of it. But lost sight of the ball after that. And she didn't know where it was. Rogers came in and dove right on it. Another great chance by the Lopes. They are heating up now. Yeah, we got that momentum going. Let's see, just one more goal. Gaucho defender looking a little shaky, doesn't know where to pass it. Ends up turning it over. Nichols to Lopez, back to Nichols. Cut back. Gets it to Wong. Wong normally a defender, but playing midfield today. Lopez into Devera. Back to Cook. Cook rolled around a little bit there by the defender. Did a nice little somersault. Cut back by Murison on Smith. Murison plays it up to Ramatko. She's beating Edwards. And two Lopes soar in, able to deflect that one out for a corner. Great defensive effort there by Hilfer and Edwards. I love it. They just dove straight for it. Corner kick up coming for the Gauchos. Looks like Voss is going to take this one. Sends it high. Foul against Magnin. She came in late. Pushed her defender to the ground. Thought she was going to get away with it, but she does not. Referee did not like where that ball was played in. Blakely will reset. Emma Kane with the ball. Moving up the sideline. Seems like this is her sweet spot in getting it up. Yep, Emma Kane has been solid this half. Cut to the center, finds Devera. Devera shoots. Misses with her left. Song was trying to steal possession. This one's sent back. Hilfer clears this one out of bounds. Looks like some Havocs are moving their way in for the men's game. Going to catch the end of this dramatic women's soccer game. Tied up one-to-one -one here in the 76th minute. Just about 14 minutes to play. Colby Parker checking in 
for the Gauchos. Ramatko with the throw in. Finds ball on the edge of the box. Over to Maurer. Defended by Edwards. Edwards with a solid play. Emma Kane almost keeps it in bounds. Ramatko up to Maurer. Defended by Edwards again. She gets it by her. Slides it in for a corner or a cross. This one over the head of Amanda Ball to Kelsey Smith. Smith moving in fast now for the counterattack. Looking for Lopez, just misses her. Gaucho's moving it up the far side of the field. Ryan Kakoska up to Maurer. He's looking for ball, but misses her long. Throwing for the Lopes deep in their territory. Cool. Cool down with iced coffee, tea, and smoothies from GCBC. That's the Grand Canyon Beverage Company. Open in the Student Union and Roadrunner Apartments. Mila Benedetti checking back in. She's the target on that throw in. Loses possession. Makes its way back to Kelsey Smith. Voss with it now. Defended by Wong. Played up to Kakoska. Deflected by Benedetti. And Kelsey Smith kicked that one out for a throw in. Such a solid play there. Throw in's much less threatening than corners were, and she saved a corner kick there. Amanda Ball on the far side. Hilfer came in, shouldered that one out. Cook swooped in for some pressure. Shoemaker crosses it in, looking for Ramatko. Ramatko chases after it. Sends it in. Shot now, Magnin misses wide. Amanda Ball misses high. Tried to come into that one. Get the Gauchos back on top, but she misses high. Blakely Frosch hurrying, putting the ball back in play. Gets it to Kelsey Smith. Up to Benedetti. Looking for these long passes now. Lopes weren't connecting on those in the first half, but seem to be now. Foul against the Gauchos. Madison Cox going to send this one down the field. You can tell the crowd's real, real pleased with this call. Anxious crowd here. Tie game, one to one. Wong finds Devera. Devera almost beat her defenders again. Would have had a great chance one on one with the goalie. Ball's pass deflected by Cook. Found its way to Magnin. Voss up to Maurer. Defended by Hilfer. Hilfer took a step towards the center. Maurer gets past her. Great block there by Hannah Edwards. Cox tried to clear this one out, but a hard foul by Maurer coming in. Cox not too happy. Cox and Maurer have been going at it all day long. Maurer with a hard foul there, and Madison Cox is not a defender you want to make angry. This free kick sent out of bounds by Blakely Frosch. Throw in comes in the ball. Long cuts it off. Frosch gets it to Edwards. Shornstein cuts off the pass to Cook. Edwards moved in. Crossed by Ramako blocked. Edwards such a strong defender. Hard play coming in. Ruled to be Gaucho ball.
Couple subs checking in for the Lopes. Ref's gonna make him wait. Ramotko kicks it out of bounds off of Emma Kane. Huge corner coming up for UCSB. Colby Parker sends this corner in. Headers missed. This one cleared out by the Lopes. Tavera chasing after it. A lot of Gauchos still attacking. Hannah Nichols sends this one high. Just nine minutes here remaining in GCU Soccer Stadium. We're all tied up at one goal apiece. Foul against the Gauchos. Put back into play quickly by Wong. Lopes sprinting up the field now. Looking for Benedetti. Cut off by the Gaucho sweeper. Gauchos are really bringing it right now. Both teams leaving it all on the field. Neither one wants to lose by a heartbreaking goal. Ramatko cuts towards the center. Ball cut off by Edwards. Played up to Benedetti on the near side. Benedetti plays it up to Vera. This one stays in bounds. Kicked out of bounds. Marissa Savoldi, such a solid defender back there. She kicks that one out of bounds. Let's the defense make their way back. The Lopes will have a throw in on the attacking side of the field. And Edwards throws this one in, headed out. Edwards going to take the throw in again. She is looking for Mary Joy Carriers. Edwards plays the ball high, looking for Devera. This one goes too far. Goal kick for the Gauchos. Savoldi going to play it high. Looking for Parker. Parker loses it out of bounds. Lopes going to have another key throw in by Edwards. Carriers kicks this one high. Looking for Mackenzie Cook. Nichols gets that one to Lopez. Back to Nichols. She does the splits to save that possession. Fires it up to Mary Joy Carriers. Carriers is in offsides. Tough call there by the ref. Lopes bench does not like that one. Definitely a close call there. Huge decision by the linesman. Just means we got to work a little harder. Subs checking in for both teams. Michaela McGee coming in for... The savior for the Lopes so far, Anissa Devera, giving her a little rest. And a key player checking out for the Gauchos, Ramatko, coming out for Murison. This one put back into play to Savoldi. Looking for ball, but Edwards has been so solid in this second half, cutting off passes. Carriers just clears this one back to Savoldi. Nice flick by Maurer. Over to ball. Ball looking for Murison. Murison against Cox. Blakely dives in. Blakely Frosh. Another great save to settle down play. Yeah, she throws it out fast. She's trying to get it down the field. Great play by Blakely. Mila Benedetti with it now. She'd love to be the hero of this game. Plays the ball up to McGee. She is onside. McGee crosses it in. Carrier's there. Carrier's looking for it. She fires a shot. That one's going to go out of bounds. Great shot there by Mary Joy Carrier's. Just missed 
solid contact with her foot. Yeah, she saw that one. I like the speed, and she made sure she had an open shot. Mm -hmm. Rogers puts it back into play to Savoldi. Five minutes remaining. Gauchos controlling the ball. Safoldi looking for Colby Parker. Referee calls that one out. Edwards thought she saved it. Parker going to throw it in. Looking for Maurer up the line. Maurer double teamed. Throw in for the Lopes now. Great defense there. They find Lopez. Lopez able to get a foot on it up to Benedetti. Gaucho switch the field. Get it to Murison. Murison centers it to Maurer. Maurer, hard tackle by Cox. Benedetti tried to back heel that one. And she's still down. Referee calling a quick injury timeout. That was a hard foul against Maurer by Madison Cox. See trainer running out. Looks like she's just cramping up a little bit. Seen players stretching their calves around a bit, drinking a lot of water at any break they can. Clock is stopped here for this one. Mark your calendars for Family Weekend coming up on October 6th through the 8th. Friends and family can live the lope life for a weekend with their GCU student. Register now at gcu.edu slash Family Weekend. Family Weekend will be busy here. Yeah, just in case you guys already miss your uh, family. You know, Welcome Week was not too long ago. Lord knows I do. Can't wait for them to come for Family Weekend. <laughs> yeah, I only live like... 40 minutes away. So. <laughs> Lucky you. <laughs> Every weekend's family weekend <laughs> for me. Teams returning to the field. Now we're going to take a seat on the bench for a little bit, stretch out that leg. It's been such a key player for the Gaucho so far. Hopefully she can make a return. And the platform definitely filling up. Oh, yeah. You can see a long line out there, too, in front of one of the buildings. Even people on top of the building. People are enjoying this game from all sides here on GCU's campus. Murison moving in now. Cox using that speed, trying to cut her off. Blocked by Edwards. Another chance. Over the ball. Ball chips it in. She was looking for Voss, unable to find her. Lopes able to clear this one out of the box. One played up for the Lopes. Mary Joy Carriers comes in, outspeeds her defender. Benedetti works her way back for this one. Cook to Benedetti. She races up the field. Over to Lopez. Great ball handler. She finds Carriers. Carriers cuts in, takes a shot. Blocked by the defenders. Nichols finds Cook. Cook going to use that speed. Looking for a cross. Beats the last defender. Crosses it in. Ball's loose. Rogers was able to save it. Ball was still loose and cleared out. Oh. And Edwards comes in for this one. Two and a half minutes left. This one out. Lopes with a throw in. Luckily in our favor. Tried to clear out. Edwards cut it off. Cross in. Benedetti on that one. Excuse me, McGee. Just over the head of McGee. This one goes out of bounds for a goal kick. But nonetheless, a great attacking chance for the Lopes. Safoldi so moving it up play. 
Murison racing down to get this one. Hilfer cuts her off. Quickly put back into play the ball. Murison cuts down the line. Cross high inside. Post with it now, gets around her defender. This one kicked out of bounds. Great defensive play there by the Lopes. They were, they were able to kick that one off post. Yeah, defense has definitely stepped up. Frost sends this one back. Just one minute now here. Gaucho's looking for a Last minute goal, ball crosses it in. Cox heads it away. Not completely out of trouble yet. Finds Voss, Voss shoots and she misses high. Blakely Frosch dove in for that one. Put her hand out just in case it was on target. But this one misses well high. Intensity rising. The coaches turned around in disgust after that shot. They really wanted that one. Frosch finds Lopez. Foul against the Gauchos. Lopes hurrying up. Only 10 seconds left. I think Cox is going to just bomb it deep and see what can happen. That one headed away. And we are headed to overtime once again here at GCU Soccer Stadium. Second soccer game of the year, second overtime game of the year. Going to have to delay the men's game a bit because these women are not done playing yet. We will be right back after this short timeout. GCU is on a mission. Our Division I men's basketball team is stacked with talented veterans and international star athletes. See every exciting matchup and experience our rise from college athletes of the dream to champions. Here we come. Our purpose, our season, our time. We are Lopes Rising. Catch all the family-friendly excitement. Limited season tickets available. Get them now to lock them in for generations to come at lopestickets.com. Don't miss out. I'm Tristan, I'm a sophomore at Grand Canyon University. Earning my degree in biology and secondary education has prepared me to be a high school science teacher. In my classes, I'm getting different diverse perspectives on very controversial scientific topics, and that better prepares me to respond to my future students. When I graduate, I'm going to make a difference in the Arizona educational system. Find your purpose at Grand Canyon University. Private, Christian, affordable. Visit gcu.edu. Welcome back here to crowded GCU Soccer Stadium. Lopes tied the game in the 71st minute. Anissa Devera, gold number one for her on the season. She was able to bring this game all square. And now we are headed to overtime. Yeah. Much better second half for the Lopes. A lot more shots. A lot more shots on target. They look to have a lot more energy. Seems like our theme here is uh, overtime at the stadium. Let's see, hopefully the men uh, can win it all in the regular time. I'm sure that'd be less stressful for the team, but these fans, they can't get enough of overtime. Yeah, I'm happy all the Havocs are here now. They can cheer on the Our Lady Lopes. Maybe that's what did it. Maybe they saw them moving into the stadium and they thought, hey, we got to do this for the fans. Definitely. And she ties it up in the 71st minute. It's crazy how much the fans can actually impact you, too. You just feel the energy mm -hmm. on the field. Vera, I loved uh, when she uh, made her goal. You can tell how happy she was, yeah, how happy everyone else was Immediately for her. turned around and hugged her fellow teammate. She kind of looked shocked for a second yeah, there. Yeah, she was surprised it went in. The ball kind of just floated on her and just went over the top of Rogers, the gaucho goalie. And it equalized this game for the Lopes. It's a beautiful, beautiful strike by Anissa Devera. Yeah, now they're all talking strategy. Yeah, Derek Leader probably telling his team to keep this energy high. They played a lot better in the second half than I 
think if they continue to play that way, they will win this game. Overtime consists of two 10-minute halves. Golden goal, which is sudden death. First team to score will win this game. Last game, the Lopes just finished this one off quick. Seven minutes in, Madison Cox finished it off with a beautiful strike past the goalie. Who knows, that could be again tonight. The back line of the Gaucho defense has been so solid though, Lopes gonna have to use that speed like they did on their goal. Their goal and all, their great chances have come with speed and this Devere used her speed cut in towards the center. Mackenzie Cook just missed the goal wide. She just sped past the Gaucho defense and I think that's gonna be the key. Gauchos have the size, but the Lopes have the speed. Yeah, we're pretty fearless out there. We just dash down the sides. I did notice that the Gauchos are good at double teaming, though, and triple teaming. Yeah, the defense has just stifled most of our chances. Yeah, they're good at reading, seeing where the ball is going to be, and that's where they end up. Gaucho, Gauchos out shooting us by 13 shots. Four of those on goal. And one key stat that Lopes may need to work on. Gauchos with eight corners. GCU with zero. That is a tough stat to have. That shows how much UCSB has been attacking. But that also shows how well Blakely Frosh has played. Definitely. You can look at this from both sides. We just need to get more ball control. And look, Blakely looks ready. Blakely Frosh, seven saves on the game. One of those being a penalty kick, which are so hard to save. She's had plenty of diving saves and not pictured on her stats are the amount of times she's ran in on the play and been able to pounce on the ball and keep it away from the oncoming attack by Santa Barbara. You can see everyone trying to get their legs ready on the field. Gauchos will start with the ball this first half of overtime. Working on resetting the clock. All right, let's go. We are all set to go here. First half of overtime. Immediately, Anissa Devera just charging in. And Cook cuts it off. She finds Devera. Lopes want to finish this one off quick. Cook up to Benedetti. Lopez finds Devera. Devera with another long shot. She thought maybe she could find the goal again, but this one goes wide. She was there, though. I love the effort. Rogers. High over to Kakoska. Up to Murison. Kakoska with the throw in. Got to try and block this one off. Oh, and it looks like we did it. Kelsey Smith with the turnover. Kelsey Smith playing a great game for the Lopes so far. Pilfer's clearance just high of the head of Hannah Nichols. Madison Cox keeps this one in. Right Great on the play edge. up to Lopez. Devera cut back. Oh, that was a nice to Lopez. Bake. Lopez looking for Devera again. Devera moved in for a shot, but Savoldi blocks it. This one out of bounds for a Lopes throw in. Kayla McGee with the throw in. Hannah Edwards switches the field. Cook races over to get that one. Cook crosses it high. Looking for Devere. Just misses her. Lopez shoots it. Oh, oh. just over the goal. Great chance there by Lopez. Fired that one high and just missed. 
beautiful. It only needed to be like three inch. feet shorter. Yeah. That was a definitely a good chance for the Lopes. The best one so far of overtime. This one up to Kate Post. Cut off by the Lopes. Foul on Mackenzie Cook. It's like we're a new team out here. I love all the ball possession. Madison Cox with the free kick now. Looking for Mila Benedetti. Headed away by Shoemaker. Gaucho's moving in. Fine Magnet in the middle field. Looks for Murison. Murison's attempt to the box is blocked out by the Lopes, and now they're counterattacking. Lopez's ball to Benedetti intercepted. Both teams just trying to get a couple passes together. Whoever does it first may just win this game. Kate Post gets a ball up the line. Post defended by Cox. Cox pokes, pokes it away, but Post still has it. She's trying to back her down. Can't get through her defense. She finds Murison middle of the field. Murison beat out by Lopez. Ball came in, but... Cook came back for the defensive play. Shornstein to the far side to Amanda Ball. Ball plays it in. Chance now. Just missed. Great shot block by Madison Cox. Kokoska plays it in. Intercepted by Edwards. Magnin retained possession. Amanda Ball. Working in. She takes a shot. Tough angle there. No problem for Blakely Frosh. Good save. Yeah, tough angle shot for Amanda Ball there. Blakely Frosh tracked that one all the way into her hands. It's like she knows where the ball's going every time. Lopes clear this one out of bounds. Lopes defend this one out of bounds again. Throw in coming for UCSB. Five minutes into overtime. Sent high into Voss. Madison Cox tried to pass it back to Frosch. Got a little heat on that pass. This one will go out of bounds for a corner kick. Make that nine now for Santa Barbara. Corner coming in. Initially headed out by Benedetti. Lopez finishes the job. Savoldi up to Murison. Lost her balance. Smith swoops in now and steals it. Kokoska looking for post. And Blakely Frosch ends that chance for the Gauchos. Frost punts it high. Devera trying to head that one. She does. Gets it back towards the Gaucho defense. Shoemaker plays this back to her goalie. There's that side again. Devera coming in physical again. Foul against the Lopes. Lopes playing real physical here. Just now, seven minutes in to this overtime period. Kokoska going to take this free kick.
Muharrison has it in the box. Tries to cut back on Madison Cox. Not today. Out to post. Post trying to get past Kelsey Smith. Smith deflects this one out of bounds. Another corner. Gauchos have hit double digit on the corner count. Another corner kick. Murison going to take this one. Quite surprising. She's one of the taller Gaucho attackers. And a back heel shot. Nifty little chance there by the Gauchos. Lindsey Voss tried to back heel that one into the goal. Tried to catch Blakely Frosh by surprise. Maybe one of the only ways to beat her. Murison. This one comes in high. Cox skies up and hits that one out. Hilfer shielding off. Shielding off ball. Ball's touch goes a little too far, and this will be a goal kick for the Lopes. A minute and a half left in this first overtime half. Good communication between Blakely and the rest of her fellow teammates. Gauchos get possession on this one. Maurer has checked back into the game. Maurer was looking for Voss, but a great cutoff by Madison Cox. Rachel Mina coming in strong on this one. Mina just pressured that one out of bounds. Throw in by Kakoska. Benedetti on Maurer. Maurer sends it high. Hilfer gets this one back to Blakely. Straight out for the last 30 seconds of this first first overtime half. Benedetti trying to charge in and get a last second attack. Ball was in the stands. Took a while to get out. Kelsey Smith. Mina heads it to the center. No lopes are there. And this first half of overtime will wind down, but we will have one more 10 minute second half. This game all tied up 1-1. The anticipation is rising in the stands, rising on the platform for the Havocs. And we will be right back for the second half of this overtime period after this short timeout. GCU is on a mission. Our Division I men's basketball team is stacked with talented veterans and international star athletes. See every exciting matchup and experience our rise from college athletes of the dream to champions. Here we come, our purpose, our season, our time. We are Lopes Rising. Catch all the family-friendly excitement. Limited season tickets available. Get them now to lock them in for generations to come at lopestickets.com. Don't miss out. I'm Tristan. I'm a sophomore at Grand Canyon University. Earning my degree in biology and secondary education has prepared me to be a high school science teacher. In my classes, I'm getting different diverse perspectives on very controversial scientific topics, and that better prepares me to respond to my future students. When I graduate, I'm going to make a difference in the Arizona educational system. Find your purpose at Grand Canyon University. Private, Christian, affordable. Visit gcu.edu. Second half of overtime here in GCU Soccer Stadium. Teams making their way back onto the field. This second half of overtime will be anxious for the fans. Definitely, hopefully we can pull through in the first couple minutes. Had both. that momentum, just mm -hmm. gotta keep pushing through it. Both teams had about an even amount of chances in that overtime period. And I can't imagine how tired they are, too, after playing so many minutes. Yeah, both teams must be pretty tired. 
All right, Lopes are heading back out there. Gaucho's grouping up, having a last team discussion, talking about formation. Lopes do a quick little Lopes up. Teams will switch sides. This will be a tense second half of overtime. I love that for I love that format of sudden death overtime. It's so exciting for whichever team can score because right as you score, you know the game's over. Oh, but it gives me so much anxiety thinking about it. It does give it. both teams a lot of nerves. Rachel Mina hits it back to Nichols to get this second half underway. Edwards up to Mina. She finds her. Cook and Benedetti moved in on the ball, but a miscommunication. Neither one of them went for it. Looked McGee like checks in on this second half. Playing extra aggressive, too. Mauer finds Magnin. Lots of body-to-body -body contact. Magnin up to ball. Hannah Edwards kicked it up to her hand, accidentally hit her hand, and it will be a dangerous free kick for the Gauchos. Nice little fake right there. Parker crosses it in, headed towards the goal, made a couple deflections in there, and Blakely comes over to make the save. She punts it high. Cut off by Voss. Amanda Ball plays it back to Parker. Pressure from Edwards. Edwards steals it. What a She's great making her steal. way up the field. Looking for Rachel Mina. She might have her. Mina with a spin move. Mina shoots, oh. just misses wide. Mina pulled that shot just to the left. Wanted to go near post on that goalie and just missed her target. Great spin move, though, to get that shot on the goal. She maybe regrets that decision. Maybe should have gone far post to the big side of the net. Nonetheless, a great chance for the Lopes, but no goal. Nichols plays it back to Kelsey Smith. Let's see, we got it back. Let's see if we can do it again. Shornstein with it for the Gauchos. Mandiball. Stolen by Edwards. She's hurrying in. She slides and slips. Mina almost still gets it. This one played back to Ball. Ball turns it over to Cook. Benedetti. Trying to beat Rogers to it, but Rogers will get it. Anissa Devera waiting to check in. She was the savior to tie it up. Can't she be the savior to win it? Mirison trying to beat Smith up the line. Played into the center towards Voss. Nichols comes in to take possession. Jessica Wong. Played a strong ball looking for Mila Benedetti. Deflected by the Gauchos. McGee was looking for Mina. Missed her to the right. Hannah Edwards, she's the left back, but she has been playing up this overtime period. A ball gets up to Murison. Madison Cox, one of the last lines of defense. Smith gets back. Murison takes a shot, misses wide. Foul against the Lopes, though. Very threatening position. Shot must have been deflected. It will be a corner kick for the Gauchos. Kokoska going to take the corner kick.
She sends it in. Gonna miss her target. Benedetti gets to it first. Lopes wanted a foul there. Another cross comes in. Shoemaker had it. It landed on top of her, and she was unable to get to it in time. Ball kicked in high. Mina came in on the challenge, but a foul against Rachel Mina. The Lopes will have to defend a free kick from the Gauchos. It's just under five minutes left. Gauchos hoping to, to finish the game here. Lopes trying to survive. This one shot high just over the head of Blakely Frosch, but just over the post of the goal. This one remains tied. Couple subs coming in for the Lopes now. Emma Kane, Anissa Devera. Just get these fresh legs in. Michaela McGee and Rachel Mina checking out. Mina's had a solid overtime period, been very physical, had a great chance. Parker with the throw in. Tosses it high. Nifty little kick there by Amanda Ball. Foul against the Lopes. Hilfer pushes her down. Hilfer pushed Maurer down right on top of the ball. Getting real chippy out there, getting real physical. Neither team wants to lose this game. This one makes its way out wide. Murison crosses it in. Ball there. And a foul against Ball. Pulled Han Edwards' shoulder away. Hard collision. Lopes with possession. Nichols moving up. Finds Emma Kane. Oh, the crowd. Emma Kane. You're the crowd. Crowd rising. Emma Kane loses possession. Wanted a foul there. Thought she got hit in the face. Hilfer gets this one back to Blakely Frosch. As the crowd levels rise, more people are on the ground. Slide tackle by Lindsey Voss. She takes possession. Plays it back to Amanda Ball. Ball would love to win this game. Blakely rushing for that ball. Ball's got five goals on the year. Three of those are game winners. Tavares saves this one, keeps it inbounds. Kane up to Benedetti. Benedetti on her defender. Trying to beat her. Slide tackle comes in. Through ball to Devera. She looks on sides. She tried to play it in. Deflected out by the Gauchos. And a corner kick now upcoming for the Lopes. Just two minutes remaining in this game. Huge moment. Devera almost got that ball through to Mila Benedetti. Deflected out. Cook. They'll send the corner kick in. She almost scores it right at Rogers. Rogers able to bat it down. Her defender's able to clear it out. Nichols intercepts the, the clearance. Jessica Wong with a high shot. Finishes well wide. Rogers going to hurry up. Get this corner kick back in play. Or get the goal kick back in play. Gets it over to Kakoska. Just a minute remaining. Maurer comes back, tries to take possession. Devera with a nice play. Gets possession to the Lopes. Mackenzie Cook has it. Cook loses it on an attempt to Devera. So much back and forth right now. Maurer's trying to find ball. Edwards swoops in to steal it. Mm -hmm. 
Nichols ball gets turned over. Ball finds Voss. Voss to the middle for Maurer. Back to ball. Up for Voss. Miscommunication for the gau Gauchos. <coughs> 30 seconds left. <coughs> Edwards looking for the throw in. Looking for Cook. Amanda Ball. Ten left. Looking for Murison. Just 10. ten. Seconds. Mandiball tried to take a last second shot. She misses. And this game is over. It will end in a draw. Both teams left their heart out there on the pitch. Tough result for the Lopes. But after being shot by 13, after being outshot by 13, it's almost a good result. Yeah, definitely didn't see that coming. Thought, uh, thought we could pull through, but I guess a tie is better than a loss. Tie is better than a loss. Close loss. Anissa Devera, player of the game for the Lopes. Be sure to stay tuned for the men's game following this game immediately. You can catch that coverage here on GCU TV. And don't forget to follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. And subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash GCU. Have a great day, everyone, and go Lopes.